Hello, my name is Chris and you're watching VSense. So on today's video, we are talking about Armani Privé. So I have a fragrance here that uh, I was a little actually tricked when I purchased this because I got a text message. Um, so with these companies, you can actually sign up to get, you know, text alerts when new products drop, when new products, you know, have been launched, so on and so forth, and like promotional deals. So I got a text message to get the brand new Armani Privé fragrance, and I was like, oh, cool, something new from Armani. And I did order this guy here. This is the box that it comes in. It's very nice, very simplistic. Armani does a really great job when it comes to actually, you know, their packaging and their presentation. It's very simplistic. It's very minimal, but you also don't feel bad recycling the box versus other companies. You're like, God, this is so heavy and so wasteful. And Armani's are a little bit better. And I'll show you why here in a minute. The fragrance we have here is Santal Dan Shah. I think that's how you pronounce it. This was launched in 2022, not in 2023, as I thought. It is part of the Privé line. So it's considered to be their haute couture of fragrances, so their higher end fragrances. Uh, the Armani Privé line is a little confusing because they do have the black bottles, which are the original ones, I believe, or is it's at least what they call their original ones now. Then they have the ones that come in a bottle that are transparent, like this guy here. And these are called Les Eaux because they are Eau de Toilettes instead of Eau de Parfums. Not necessarily all of them are Eau de Toilettes. I've seen a couple that are Eau de Parfums here and there. And then they also have the bottles that are the colorful ones. And those are the very expensive high lux premium bottles, which is like Rouge Malachi, Blue Lazuli. Those type of fragrances are more expensive. So this is what the box looks like. There's nothing in here. It is a little nice insert that it comes in so it doesn't fall out of the actual box itself. Um, and like I said, this is a nice light type of cardboard. It's sturdy enough to make it feel luxurious, but it's also something that you can throw into recycling or actually reuse it and not feel so bad about the box getting ruined itself. Very nice little packaging. I did order mine from Neiman Marcus. They were pretty quickly at shipping. Not sponsored, by the way. I'm not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> clearly uh, but the actual shipping and handling was pretty quick i was actually very impressed by neiman marcus itself although i didn't get any samples like everyone says that they do but you know by all means whatever so this is my third armani fragrance that i've actually purchased i do have here another one that is gardenia antigua and then i also have one that is in the old armani Privé bottles which where they were just stickers not these very fancy plaques um, this is what the bottle looks like. It's very nice. It's a very sturdy glass bottle. These are very nice as well. I do have the original Armani. Just for comparison's sake, I do have the original Armani bottles, which it's a lot lighter itself. But like I said, it's a sticker here versus the new one here, which is a nice glossy. This is a lot heavier. It's not as heavy as I wish it was, but it is a lot heavier nonetheless in the packaging is a lot more sturdy, a lot nicer as well. So about this fragrance, I actually really like this fragrance. It's a sandalwood and that's what they're focusing on on this fragrance. Now the difference with Armani versus any other actual like private line that you'll encounter, so like Celine, Steor, Chanel's, all of those, is that Armani does things where they're gonna be likable. Although they're not gonna be the most unique and creative fragrances, you can certainly sit there and say, oh, if I'm gonna get a gift for someone out there, Armani is a really great line because it is likable, it is wearable, it is, you know, versatile as well. You can wear it on multiple different occasions in multiple different settings. So in regards to that, it's very nice. Now, I do have a little qualm with this, and I will say that I do feel like it smells a little similar to Aqua de Gio Absolute, which is this guy here. The liquid's even kind of similar when it comes to color contrast itself. It's not one-to-one, -one, but you can certainly kind of tell the inspiration like, like cedar wood background or teak wood type of smell to it although this one does smell a lot more expensive and more premium versus aqua di Gio, it does have that similarity but that's to be expected at the same time because when it comes to these houses they do have a dna and armani's dna from what i can tell it's definitely aquatic it's definitely like private island resort it's very big on like vacation smells so i would certainly say that this sandalwood is not going to be heavy for you to sit there and wear it in the winter it's not a very you know 
coat friendly type of fragrance this is a sandalwood that can be worn in the spring on a vacation in a yacht resort if you can afford a yacht i can't but if you can then certainly go and do it the price point on these is not that bad either it is 194 us dollars for 100 mils or 3.4 ounces which is the bottle that we have here this one does come in both sizes so 100 mils and 50 ml bottles there's nothing bigger so if you like the fragrance and you want something a little bit bigger you're not going to be able to find it but you know it is one that wears pretty well performance and longevity on this are you know subpar i mean they're not the best out there but that's to be expected because it is an eau de toilette but it is a really nice eau de toilette it's kind of like when chanel did their les exclusives collection as eau de toilettes they had longevity and performance i feel like this if it was categorized as an eau de parfum it would have the same performance to be honest with you but it is a really nice phrase just for a point of reference on the notes itself the top notes are going to be cardamom violet leaf as well as bergamot so like i said it's that very fresh type of smell to it that violet really gives it kind of a spice there because like I said, although it's a very aquatic and vacation smell with that beautiful sandalwood note down there, it's also one of those that is fresh, it's clean, it's it's very youthful. Then in the middle notes, we're going to get frankincense, resin, as well as musk. So you kind of get, like I said, that frankincense in there. There's a little hint of it. It's not strong by any means. So if you love incense fragrances, you're not going to get that with this guy here, but you are going to get that musk in there. You are going to get that sweet resin as well with the touch of, of incenses in there to really kind of give you that you know, exotic type of vibe that you are looking for when you're going on vacation. And then in the base, we're gonna get sandalwood, cedarwood, as well as dreamwood. Dreamwood is a synthetic note, just so you are aware. Um, and like I said, you do get that kind of tiki wood in there as well. So I do think there's some teak wood in here. It's probably not labeled on here, but it is a really beautiful scent. Like I said, it's gonna be something that's kind of like in kind of in between the Armani Code and, and kind of in between the C line and also the Aqua de Gio line. It's very nice, but it's elevated. So if you love those fragrances from this house and you love, you know, Armani as a fragrance house, I would certainly say to check this one out because it's really good. It's very wearable and it's as good as the regular fragrances, but it's even better. So I would say to check this guy out. It's really nice, like I said, and it's not too bad for the price point because 194 in today's market is not that far off from what you'd be paying for a regular mainstream fragrance. But certainly get this one, you'll get something a little bit more unique and you will be able to wear it a little bit differently in different occasions as well. So very nice fragrance. I do recommend checking this one out. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Armani fragrance that we have spoken about today. Have you tried any of the Armani Privé collection? Are you willing to try it? Let me know down below. Make sure to give it a, a thumbs up as well and make sure to subscribe and share if you love these videos. I'll see you guys next time and thanks so much for watching vSense. Bye.